Okay, what's up guys? This is Dark Blue. Outriders is a looter game, so maybe you pay more attention to endgame experience. But it is also a lot of fun thinking about how to make campaign easier. So in this video, let me tell you my story. How will a freshman pyromancer fight a way through campaign? Now remember to like and subscribe, and let's begin. I noticed skills in Outriders are divided into three categories. The first three skills unlocked for a pyromancer are respectively burn, immovability, and explosion skill. And that's my first skills to be put into use. After some time, a new skill was unlocked for me, and it was an explosion skill. So I was wondering, well, maybe it was a chance to come up with an explosion playstyle. I can see this was my first build. So these two explosion skills are overheat and thermal bomb. To make use of overheat, enemies should be first inflicted with burn, and then overheat will consume burn effect to do large damage. Otherwise, the damage will be very poor. And the mechanics of thermal bomb go like this. First, inject a bomb into an enemy, then kill him within short time to trigger the bomb and deal damage to other enemies around him. Well, as you can see, the mechanics of these two skills are rather complicated, and as a result, this explosion build provided a very unstable performance. Sometimes I could kill everyone with one hit, but sometimes, when there was only one elite and no other mobs, I could do only poor damage. Therefore, I didn't really like this build and gave it up before long. At that time, I found some new skills unlocked, and this volcanic round really attracted my attention. It can enchant my bullet with fire, which, well, looked cool. So, my second build was decided to be bullet oriented. The first show of bullet build, well, was a total disaster. Volcanic round works only for one magazine, and when my ammo runs out, it will enter a cooldown of nearly one whole minute. I felt short of ammo all the time and faced enormous difficulty fighting the miniboss of this side quest. But that was not enough to force me to give up. I realized I hadn't adjusted my mouse yet. I was still using the synergy for explosion build, and maybe I could find my salvation from other mods. And indeed, I found it. This mod allows me to restore some of my ammo when hitting enemies with Feed the Flames. This way, I could keep Volcanic Round active all the time. Well, according to my experience of Feed the Flames, I still had two problems to tackle. Uh, this skill has a long cooldown, so the efficiency of restoring ammo wouldn't meet the demand. And the attack range is rather short, so I had to keep close to enemies. Good news was, they could be solved with two other mods. One mod to lower its cooldown by half, and the other to double the range. In this way, my bullet build finally came to life, with the help of merely three mods. Later, I added two other mods. One mod gave me the firepower bonus as long as Volcanic Round was active, and the other increased the reach of Ash Blast. After all the modification, this bully build was really handy, and it helped me through the entire campaign. And guess what's the best part of this build? It requires only 5 mods to work, and I have 5 armor pieces, on each one of which I can adjust one mod freely. It means I can change my gears at any time, not having to worry about the mods. Okay, this is my campaign experience as a Pyromancer. At first, this explosion build and my initial bullet build didn't work out fine, but at last, I perfected my build with 5 mods. And finally, this was enough for a Pyromancer to melt the entire campaign. But I also have some stories to share with you about my experience in Endgame, farming EXP for Apoch tier. That is also interesting, but I'll leave it for next video. So if you like my story and if you want to join me into depths of games, just like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you around.